Hey everyone, I'm here with another video. This is going to be a review, but first I want to talk to you guys for a little bit about these earrings that I am wearing. I hope you guys can make them out. I know the light is kind of uh, reflecting off of them, but they are these like super cool earrings I purchased from a vendor on Etsy a couple of months ago, probably towards the end of the summer. And I uh, ordered a couple of earrings, but these I absolutely fell in love with. If you can't make it out here, it's actually a lady and yeah and this is her natural hair on top she's wearing a pink headband she also has some eyeshadow on and some lipstick and these little beads on the side are her earrings and I just love the fact that they were just uh, so different looking because I've not seen earrings like these before I like the pop of color but also um, they're big and they're super light uh, so one problem that I have is I love big earrings especially with natural hair uh, it's very easy for uh, my earrings to get lost under my hair in that if I'm wearing like button earrings or studs or something or just really small dangle earrings sometimes it looks like I'm not wearing any jewelry at all so that's why I like to wear really big earrings as you guys could probably see from my previous videos but sometimes if they're too heavy it begins to hurt after a while but these are super super light and on the back here um, it's pink and it has like just you know very free pattern on the back here I just thought that they were so pretty and also they reminded me of like myself like my family someone I would probably know or be related to in fact my grand my mom I should say uh, named these after my grandmother so I'm going to post the link to that vendor down below for those of you who also like big earrings and would like to check out some just like different looking earrings but also not too heavy anyway this is going to be a review of several products by Caudalie that I've been using for a couple of months now if you've never heard of Caudalie they are a skincare brand and I believe that they have a vineyard somewhere I'm not sure if they, I believe it's in uh, France um, not sure but I know that they use a lot of extract from the vines and from grapes within their products and they also have this uh, super upscale spa here in New York It's actually at the Plaza Hotel I see pictures of it all the time but it just looks kind of like a place that I probably won't be visiting anytime soon just because I don't know if I can afford it anyway I had never had the opportunity to try out any of their products until this summer when Birchbox sent two of their products as samples and I was so impressed with them that I went ahead and purchased the full-size uh, bottles from Sephora. So the first one is actually the gentle cleansing milk with sweet almond and corn flour. Sorry, I can't find my full size. This is the um, deluxe sample size at the moment. It's a white tube with green writing on the front. And it is exactly what it says it is. It is extremely gentle on your skin. For the most part, I just kind of put some between two, um, you know, the, my two palms, just create a lather and really massage it into my skin. If you have sensitive skin, you should have no problems using this product. Most of the time, once I rinse my face, it feels kind of moisturized so you don't have to worry about your face being stripped of any moisture or feeling dry afterward sometimes when I have a little bit more time on my hand I do use uh, my face brush with it but for the most part I just kind of like to take it and massage it all over my face and then rinse it off so the next product is the glycolic peel mask it comes in a green tube with a wooden cap or it looks like a wooden cap and uh, this was the product that I was the most impressed about from uh, Birchbox I had not seen that by the time I had received the sample I had not seen uh, a skincare specialist in a really long time in fact I am still long overdue for a facial and my face was beginning to look really dull and it would dry out very easily uh, you could see dark spots very easily under my eyes and then here uh, where I had laser hair removal done some time ago and I really wanted something that would give me a burst of like pop and so you put this on for a couple of minutes and as it promises your face just kind of has a glow afterward now if you've never used a glycolic peel it's um, a product that has like live enzymes or something in them that really go to work on your face so like for in my instance where I have um, let's say pimples or if I have removed like blackheads or something like that sometimes my skin will still have like the bumps like where it was and you can kind of make it 
brow. So even though they're not there anymore, my face is a bit uneven, or my skin, I should say, is a bit uneven. So when I use this product, it just kind of resurfaces the skin. It all it diminishes like the um, the bumps if I have any, if I've had like any pimples uh, lately. It just kind of keeps it from like getting bigger. It just kind of diminishes the um, the appearance of them. Also, they're supposed to be great glycolic peels, I should say, are supposed to be good for uh, fine lines, dark spots, wrinkles, and just kind of giving you an overall glow, which is exactly what it does for me. The only thing that you need to keep in mind, though, is that if you have sensitive skin or if you're not used to using products like these, you should be very gentle with using a product like this. You should probably use just a little bit before you give it a try. In fact, try to get your hands on a sample size first, because uh, I think a lot of people, what it freaks a lot of people out about glycolic peels is that it does begin to tingle after a while it's supposed to that means that it's working but some people freak out and then also when you're done with a glycolic peel your face will appear red and it, that's that's the most common result that doesn't mean that your face has reacted badly to it but that is what happens after a glycolic peel you just have to give it some time for the redness to go away so for the most part when I'm using this I'll use it maybe two or three days before I know that I have something special to go to if I'm going to be taking pictures in fact I recently I uh, knew that my birthday was coming up and that my boyfriend and I were going to go out and that we were going to take pictures so I used the peel about two days beforehand so that by the time the day came my face would have no blotchiness and that my face would be nice and smooth which is exactly what happened I am not having to use too much of the foundation my face was like it felt like satin it looked very clear I also use this um, back in the summer and that's something else that I want to point out to people if you use this mask or anything with uh, glycolic peels uh, you need to like avoid direct sunlight so I use this mostly in like the afternoon late afternoon to evening when I know I'm not going to go back out again and when I use it in the summer I didn't use it and then go right out and sit on the beach or go out and be in direct sunlight the whole day you need to give your face some time to heal so if you use it and your face tingles that's supposed to happen but give it some time before you really see the work happen now the next item is actually in a set that I purchased with two moisturizers and the next one I'm talking about here is the grape water which I use in place of my toner it's a very light uh, spray that you put on and I usually just kind of uh, spray it all over and just let it sit for a while it's really soothing and especially after the glycolic peel once you rinse it off your face might feel a bit warm and you just want some to cool it down the grape water is a very soothing product to use and when I'm done I actually apply the beauty elixir I'm at the end of this bottle here now um, this product I mostly hear about people using this to refresh their face throughout the day or to kind of refresh their makeup I never use it that way once I'm done with the um, great water I will put this on my face and just kind of massage it into my skin for me it just kind of makes all the moisturizer um, that I put on afterward even better so it's like a I call it like a pre softening treatment so I just kind of make sure I really work it into my skin and then once I use um, either of the moisturizers in the kit that I purchased or any other moisturizer I have at home it just kind of um, I feel like I don't have to use as, as much moisturizer but it also makes the moisturizer work a little bit better so the next item is the Venosource SOS Thirst Quenching Serum. This is what the bottle looks like. It's clear with red writing on the front. And I was actually going to purchase this one alone, but I think if you pay the same price or maybe a dollar or two more, you would be able to get the set. That's why I uh, purchased the set that I showed you guys a few minutes ago. And um, I was interested in this one only because I had gone into Sephora and I told the associate that sometimes after I remove like a blackhead or a pimple, my face will still be red for you know maybe like a day or so afterward and she told me that I needed something that would just kind of um, soothe my my skin you know she called my skin being stressed and she said that this would kind of calm it down so to speak so um, this is an uber like cooling lotion it uh, is a serum so a little bit goes a long way especially if you use the beauty elixir beforehand so it is just a uh, very moisturizing and I love the way that it feels on my skin I just try to limit my use of it because I want to make it last as long as I could but I definitely give this one a thumbs up 
Now, for uh, the most part, I use that one all over my face, but when it comes to my neck, I actually uh, use the Venusaurus Moisturizing Sorbet, which is in the smaller tube because it is a bit of a thicker product, and I feel like in uh, my neck or the decolletage area, uh, decolletage, I don't know if I said that correctly, whereas with the serum, I only concentrate like on my face, so the neck, I just kind of want it to be uh, very moisturized because sometimes it could dry out very quickly, and I just feel like it makes me look older, especially if I'm going to put on makeup and I go down here and then throughout the day it begins to dry out. It just looks like really just bad. So I like to use this only on my neck and it is a, a super moisturizing product as well. Anyway, I love using these products. It's kind of like my own little spa treatment at home and I kind of like to use it maybe once or twice a month. I don't use it as my only skincare um, regimen. And I I know that they're a little bit more money than what you would spend at a drugstore or at like Target or Walmart for skincare products, but honestly, for the results, they're absolutely worth the money. If you guys have any comments, questions, or responses, please leave them in the box below. If you haven't, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and until next time, take care, you guys. Bye.